Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I'm going to show you my updated setup in my personal rings planner, which is this black beauty. This is a faux leather planner from Little, the German grocery store, and I paid just $4.99 for this. But I will link the video where I did the unboxing of this if you want to see what was inside then. It has a magnetic closure and oh I haven't even cleaned it for this. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not the only one that has always like paper dust or how do you call it in here, but okay. Here I have a few pockets. I don't have anything in here in this credit card slots. I have here first some sticky notes for my YouTube video planning and I cover them with this beautiful thank you card that I have made myself. Then here is just a reminder that I got from another YouTube planner video. When life feels overwhelming, step back, listen to your heart and simply begin. And then here in this top pocket, which was a credit card slot, but I cut it open from the bottom so I can fit here these cards that are the same size as this planner. And here I have my morning and evening journaling like checklist and then I have also my YouTube process checklists here and I have two of them so one I have here now beside me to remind me everything that I have to do while filming. This is my self-made cover page and then this opens to the daily section. So I have here my daily planning page and I use a friction ball clicker, but 05, although this says 07, I have a 05 refill in here just because I love this pink pen. So I want to use that. And then I always choose one highlighter for the week and this week we have the Sharpie highlighter yellow. But this changes every week and I also change the brands. So just what I'm feeling that week. And here I just use some old Filofax planner pages for my daily planning. Then this first big top tab opens to my brain dump list and here I have a list of my categories that I use in my time tracking. I used the application called Toggle. So these are the projects and categories that I have made there so that I remember them. And as I said, my brain dump list and a someday list. I don't use this very often, but it's good to have it here if I have something to dump. <laughs> And it only comes here if it's not something that I have to put in the daily page or weekly page or monthly page or it's only ending here if it, it's not time specific. Then I have a quarterly future log for tasks and this is actually from my Q4 setup from last year so that's why it starts with Q1 which is already going. But it was so pretty that I, I just wanted to use it again. And as you can see, I don't have very much there. So it goes well. And then this has just a reminder for myself about my categories. And then my email address is what I have used for what. Here I have a small top tab which opens to empty pages. So here on the right I have some empty note pages which I have cut from an old planner. And then here on the left side, I just can here take, this is for tomorrow, so I can plan for Tuesday on this side. And this is something I just changed because I had previously, I had the next day here on front, but because I always came to the section from this tab, 
and I wanted to have the note pages here so that I can quickly start writing if I don't need to make a new note. So then I turned these around so that what I want to use tomorrow is here like in the back because that's here on the front when I open this tab. So that way I made my setup a bit like more convenient for myself. And then I just have a few of these note pages. I can always fill them when needed. And then we come to these sections which I had written here. So the purple is for people and places. Blue is for projects and planning. Green is for money. Yellow is like representing joy. So shopping lists. And then pink is for YouTube. So in this people and places section. I have also now that that I had previously here in this yellow which had like low energy tasks. But I as I said in my previous setup I just didn't feel like it was working very well. So I transferred everything that I had here to this people and places section because I'm also a person. So this people and places includes me also now. And here on front I have now the some tarot spreads that I wanted to try next. And then I just have like different kind of lists like gift ideas, what I need to bring somewhere when we are visiting and when what postcards to send and just like everything concerning people and places. So that's like a nice mixture of everything. And then I also have for me like books to read, courses to take and everything like that. Blue is my planning section in this planner. So now in front actually I have this big side tab here which opens to the most important task now. But I have censored it so you see only this empty. And yes I use it like that so I have the tasks and things like here in this sections divided. Then in this planning section I have this big bottom tab which I use every day. So that opens to my weekly page. And this weekly page I have made myself. And here this is again the same time tracking list. And here behind it I have all yearly important dates like that are like every year the same. So birthdays and everything else important personal dates. Then my weekly pages I have usually a few of them here. Now I think I have three weeks here. And here on this side I write day specific tasks. And then here on the other side I have weekly specific tasks. Then I have my like habit tracker or things I would like to do every day. And then I have my weekly tasks like what I need to do at home like cleaning and everything like that. That's the same every week. So those I have here. Then the next tab bottom tab opens to the monthly pages and these monthly inserts I have also made myself. So here I have like day specific things and tasks that are concerning the month. They have no certain week or day when I have to do them. And here I track my spouse's work schedule and here I track the moon schedule. <laughs> and I have a few monthlies ready here now and then I add the washi as we go so that I have something nice to decorate. And I do that also with the weekly. So I decorate the week when the week comes. And these I have already made until October halfway through here. This is the smallest bottom tab which I use. This is now something that I realized that I use this like never. But maybe it's good to have here. But here I have like a future lock for dates. Like the previous future lock was for tasks for the coming year. And this is now dates that are coming in the future years. And here I have just some elections written down that are coming. The green section is now 
my money section and these I have now transferred from my if you have watched my spending video so what I had in this mini rings planner are now in this green section so here I have my spending tracker first and then I have my bills tracker so and that's all so not a lot and these inserts I have also made myself yellow section is then <laughs> probably the one that I use the most <laughs> there's my shopping lists and here first I have just some things that I would want to buy someday and then this I actually made yesterday because I transferred the money things here and also I needed this think before you buy list here so I made it a bit bigger for my personal and here I just have lists of things like mostly now tarot cards so when I watch YouTube videos I write decks here and then I watch videos about the decks if I am interested or not and I just have here a lot of lists and and also different things so I have still the coffee grinder lists here because I haven't bought it yet and then I have a list for what I would like to buy myself and someday maybe lists and just different shopping lists what's different these are like concerning me or home so if it's like gift ideas then it goes to the people and places section I don't know I just love it it's like so convenient to have everything in one place and for now this setup has worked so good for me so I don't have like those random note papers everywhere I have all the information in this planner now and then the last section is my pink YouTube section and here well this is an old page the here I have just some hashtags for Instagram I need to make a new one but if you are following me on Instagram I have the link below so you know that I haven't been very active there so I haven't used this list in a long time and then I have my YouTube video plan so my color coding I have here so I showed you the sticky notes so here is my color code and my YouTube video plans I have in my YouTube planner which is this Midori B6 Slim I previously used and Hobonichi Weeks and changed to this now for this year and I have enjoyed it very much and then I just have a few pages of video requests and video topic ideas and then we are already at the end pages what if I fall oh but my darling what if you fly and then a note from my spouse which is I love you and then here on the other side it's okay that you are not always okay and then an old picture and then here in this back pocket I call it my weekly navigation checklist like example clean the phones photos and check the backup is okay just cleaning and backupping and then the other this is like my weekly planning checklist and I just love to have this list that I remember everything and it's easier for me just to like yeah 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 done then just trying to remember what I should do every this is like this makes it easier to me and that is my current setup in my personal planner and I as I said I still love using it I have no interest in changing things I don't know I just it works and I think that's the most important thing and it's just it doesn't matter how much the planner costs in some way if it works and this for some reason this five euro planner has worked wonders for me if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and as I said you can also follow me on Instagram but I haven't been very active there 
in a long while. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I see you soon. Bye bye.